This video is sponsored by Femoid.com, the best way to get social media followers in just one click. To download Google Camera Go app on your Android phone, go to cyanogenmodes.com slash google dash camera dash go dash apk dash download. You can check out the video description for the direct link. Once you are on this page, scroll down to the bottom, there you will find three green buttons. These are basically three different Gcam Go apps. The first one which is shown here as version 2 supports HDR Plus and 10x Zoom. The second one only supports HDR Plus and the last one which is basically a stock Gcam Go app with no modification. Here we always recommend you to try the latest version as the previous version can be buggy. Here the latest version is version 2, so we will download the version 2. Next on this page, scroll down to the bottom, there you will find the download button, click on it. It is asking for the permission whether to download or not, just click OK. Now add some time till the download gets completed and once completed, click open. Now it is asking for the permission to download apps from unknown sources. We have to click settings. Here allow permission and go back. Now you have to click install. Now we are ready to use this app. Now allow this permission to this app. Here is the UI of this camera app, pretty similar to the actual Gcam app. This is a storage cleaner which shows you number of photos you can take depending on your storage limit as this is a go version targets lower devices. This is a flash switch. Settings menu contains flash, timer, face enhance and the HDR mode that improves color and details. And this is a portrait mode that allows you to blur background. This is normal mode, video mode and in the last translate mode that allows you to translate words using this camera app. The good thing is that the zoom is working perfectly in all modes. This is the front camera in normal mode with the face enhance feature. And this is a portrait mode which too supports face enhance feature. Now let's see the camera result. Rear camera in normal mode. Rear camera in portrait mode. Although it captures some good details but there is no background blur. Maybe it is working only for human faces. Rear camera in video mode working perfectly. Front camera in portrait mode. Colors are natural but the edges are not perfectly blurred. Front camera in normal mode. And this looks good, no complaint at all. Unfortunately, translate mode not working for us. Maybe we are doing it in a wrong way. So overall this is a great camera app and should work for almost any android device. So this is all in this video, we hope you like it. Please do like and share this video and if you are new to our channel then please subscribe us for the upcoming video. This is Kunal signing off. Thanks for watching.